Louis Saint Laurent, it is the largest icebreaker in Canada. The keel was laid in 1966. Its maiden voyage was in 1969. I have the con, yes, sir. and we come around to 250. We have five main engines up with 30,000 horsepower. We can go through three meters of ice at three knots continuously. There's rules such as you have to enter the ice at right angles, and we have an ice knife. So our bow rides up on the ice, the weight of the vessel breaks the ice, and the ice knife helps cut through the ice. The ship is basically like a mini town or a mini city. We have all of the same utilities. We generate our electricity for the lights. We generate electricity to keep the shafts turning. We make water on board. We use evaporators. The impact that Coast Guard has is a lot bigger than what people think about. We keep waterways open in the winter to bring in materials that keeps our economy going. We have a bubbler system which reduces friction of the ice on the hull. We have compressors that force air out the side of the ship so ice has to stick to the ship. And also widens the track, which means the ships escorting behind us have a wider track to follow. We'll be departing. We've been tasked to escort the motor vessel Sierra de Gagne, outbound to the recommended route in the Gulf of St. Lawrence. Full speed, steering, zero eight zero. Even though a lot of ships we escort are bigger than us, they don't have the ice class we have. If there's any areas in which the ice is difficult, it's critical for them to have us ahead of them. Besides the actual mechanics, it comes down to people operating the ship. Right now we're in the control room. This is the equivalent to the bridge for the engineers. They control the engines starting, stopping. They control the electricity. We've completed the escort of the Sierra de Gagne, and he's on his way to the river. Roger. It does have a very positive impact on Canadians. Not only ice breaking, conservation protection, aid to navigation, search and rescue. If we're working search and rescue, if something happened with the fishermen, we would go out there and make sure everyone's okay. I love my job. I think it's a fantastic job. There's so many amazing things I've seen and done, all because of Coast Guard, that it's incredible.